Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you an in-depth demo of the Press Play software. So when you first log in, you're gonna see uh, your main dashboard. This is going to be where you can see all of your different projects. Um, and then within each project, you can have multiple campaigns. So uh, this is really good for split testing. If you want to do like an A-B test on a video or a landing page, uh, you can do that. Okay, and then also from a glance, you can see the total number of views conversions and conversion rates. Now, uh, conversions are only gonna work if you go and install the conversion tracking pixel on your page. So a conversion could be uh, a sale, it could be a registration for a webinar, um, it could be uh, a lead or an opt-in. Uh, you just need to specify what that conversion is gonna be. And then we provide you with the tracking pixel that you have to put on the thank you page or the page that people will go to after they have converted. So um, that is how the conversion tracking is going to work. Now, what I'll show you guys now, I'm gonna just start a new project from scratch. Um, so this is just a test project. Okay, and I'm gonna click on create. And now once I do that, it's gonna show up in your dashboard and you have the option to create either a page, a full video um, landing page, or just a video. So some of you may wanna use just the smart video controls within Press Play and you can do that. But uh, for this demo, I'm gonna click on page because page is going to create a full video landing page plus the video. So you'll see both um, uh, options here. So I'll click on page and then you, you wanna give it a campaign name. So say this is uh, the sales page and then I click on next and you'll be able to choose from uh, a template uh, and we're, we're constantly adding new templates into our library. Um, but just for this example, I'm gonna just select this one and keep in mind that um, each template is customizable. So once you get into this editor, which you're looking at right now, um, you'll, you'll see the sales page settings and then the video settings. So for right now, what I'll do is I'll just show you the sales page settings. If I click here, you know, it's just a, a very simple editor. Um, I can change, you know, welcome. I can, you know, change the headline here to whatever I want. Um, same thing with here and I can change the fonts, uh, the size, the color, the bold, you know, underline anything you want there. I could always go to each of these different options and uh, untick them if I want the element to be hidden. Okay. Um, so you can see how easy it is to add and remove elements from the page. Um, now, all you need to do is just walk through each of these steps. So we have default options here. So there's meta, um, page titles, meta descriptions. You could add um, some code in the header or the footer if you're doing maybe some, some type of paid uh, traffic and you want to add some tracking or Google Analytics, whatever it may be, you can add it right into there. Okay, and then you have the option for uh, a background. So you, you can do a color background, an image background, or a video background. Um, you know, maybe for this one, I'll just use uh, a video background and you'll notice that it, it refreshes automatically and the uh, and it's just taking a YouTube video. So you can really embed any YouTube video as your background. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, and then, you know, obviously you have your header here and you can see each, each of the different elements is going to outline in blue, depending on what it is that you are um, working on. So you can see there, I just updated that. Um, I could add a little logo here if I wanted to, um, but for right now, I'll just leave it like that. Okay. And then you have obviously your headline, your sub headline, uh, then video skins. So this is where you can choose, you know, what type of skin you want around your video. So say that I wanted, you know, an, a, a large iPad, you know, um, or I could do the opt-in form as well. If I choose the opt-in form, you'll notice that you get your uh, autoresponder settings. So you can paste in any autoresponder code. Um, so it can be for, from any email autoresponder service, or if you connected at the API level from our um, email integration page, you can just select your um, whatever uh, autoresponder you connected, and you'll be able to select from the list of where you want, um, you know, where you want those leads to go. Uh, for now, I'll just um, create just a just without an opt-in. Okay. Um, then we also have some so, so, uh, social sh uh, sharing features. So this is where um, these buttons here below. If someone shares this, uh, you can select if you want the current URL to be shared or if you want a custom URL to be shared. Okay. Um, then we also have this sales area as well. So you can choose between wide and skinny. Um, first, I need to enable that, and you'll see I can change the um, button color to whatever I want. Oops, let me just uh, just make that red for right now. Okay, and um, we have different. Uh, we have the wide and then the skinny version as well. Um, 
and then you can also do a, a timed call to action. So say that I wanted this to be enabled uh, after 30 seconds of my video playing. I could have the, the buy button drop in then. Or say that I want the buy area to show up after two visits. I can do that as well. So there's lots of really cool customizations you can do with just that um, buy button area. Then you could also add um, extra HTML if you wanted to. So if you have like a the rest of a sales letter that you wanted to drop in, you could do that as well, um, either above the sales area or below the sales area, okay? Now also keep in mind that all of our templates are mobile uh, responsive. So you can go here and you can see what it's gonna look like um, as someone's viewing it on a mobile device as well as a tablet and then onto a desktop. So all the templates will conform um, and look very nice to, regardless of what um, you know, uh, device people are browsing your site on. So that is for optimizing and controlling or uh, um, uh, tailoring your page. Now, if you only did video settings, you're only gonna see the video settings and this is where you can go and, and um, you, know, you, can, you can use either uh, a YouTube video, which is really cool. That's one of the best features of, of Press Play is the, the fact that you can just use a, any YouTube video and um, it will uh, automatically, uh, you can keep all of the smart features um, that we have. Or you can just do a custom URL, which will, you know, you just put in the MP4 source code, whether it's on uh, Amazon S3 or your own servers, okay? Then you control the video behavior, so you can uh, choose if you want it to, if you want the video to start on auto when the page loads. If you want the the user to be able to resume where they left off, say they watch part of your of your video and then they come back, you can have the option to watch from the beginning or skip where you left off. Uh, and then also when the video ends, you could have it loop back around and play again, or you could have it pause on the last frame or the beginning of the frame. Okay. Um, then also all of your different video controls. So what I'll do is I'll just um, just do this and click on video controls so I can show the control bar. Uh, say I want the control bar to only show up after say three visits, I can do that. Um, and I only want the control bar to show up when someone hovers over it or I can have it always show. Uh, if I want the play button to show, if I want the progress bar to show, if I want the mute button and the full screen toggle, I can control um, all of those different elements. Now where it really gets fun is all of the, the smart features uh, in, in terms of the opt-in overlay. So you can show uh, an opt-in form uh, at the beginning of the video, at the end of the video, or at a custom time. So say maybe after 20 seconds, I want the opt-in form to show up to try to get them to opt into my list. Okay, so I can do that. Um, for for the opt-in overlay, okay. Then also, then you also have the share gateway option, which you could have this show up at the start end or at a custom time, where you can either require or not require the person to share the video to their Facebook um, page, uh, just just by um, setting up these these options of what you want them to say. Um, you can change the opacity of it, so if you want it to be completely dark or if you want it to you know be uh, somewhat see-through you can do that as well um, there's lots of other um, features inside of this the share gateway and then the third part is the call to action directly inside of the video so you can add it again at the start end or a custom time and you can do a text uh, image based or you can do uh, HTML um, call to actions directly over the video and again, you can control the opacity and the background color and all that kind of stuff. So um, the three big things, you can do opt-in forms, share gateways, and call to actions. And you can utilize all of them in conjunction on one video, which is really, really cool. Okay, then uh, the last part of the video settings is say you want the video to pause automatically if the viewer is not able to see the video on the page. So say the video is up at the top of your, of, of your page, they wanna scroll down and read the sales letter. Well, they can, um, the video can automatically pause, so they have to go back up and actually engage and watch the video. So very, very cool. Okay, now uh, in order to publish it, it's actually very simple. You just click on Save and Publish, and then you click on Publish, and you can either download the, the entire zip file that has all of your settings, um, and then you can upload it to your server or wherever you want that to go, or we have a WordPress plugin. You just download the WordPress plugin and install it and it has everything pre-configured for you. You just go uh, and select the page that you want uh, shown on your WordPress site. So you have those two different options, very, very simple. Um, so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to click save and save and exit. And I'm just gonna show you some, some quick uh, statistics that we've built into uh, Press Play as well. Now, 
as you can see, you can see total vis uh, video views, unique video views, and then um, if I don't have conversion tracking on right now, but if you installed the script, you would just see the total number of, of either sales or opt-ins, whatever that conversion is. Okay. Then you also have uh, video plays and engagement. Um, so you can see the total number of views, the total number of unique views over, you know, the course of whenever your video started, as you can see, you know, we published this on September 1st and you can start to see, um, the engagement, uh, over the past week. Now, the other thing you can see is the video drop off. So you can see this is in seconds here and you can see, um, how long, uh, it takes for people to actually drop off. You know, how long are they staying engaged? on your video. So if you could see, if you see a noticeable, you know, dip in engagement, well, maybe you need to rework the video so people stay on longer. So we have lots of really cool um, in-depth analytics to see uh, how people are engaged with your videos. Now, the last thing I do want to show you guys is our email integration area. So this is where you would go and connect your, um, we have uh, Aweber, GetResponse, and MailChimp at the API level. Again, you can use any autoresponder code when you're on the, the, the page builder itself, but um, you can connect your, your, um, your different services here. Uh, we'll be adding more um, soon. And then we also have go to webinar. So you can connect your go to webinar account and you can use, you know, use press play as uh, like a, a webinar registration page if you wanted to. Okay. So um, guys, this is, uh, this is press play. We, we look forward to continuously adding um, new features and improvements based on your feedback. And again, we look forward to seeing you guys in the members area. Thank <music> you.